supply chain visibility is of extreme importance to businesses today to function effectively, manage risks, and help reduce costs. We'll start off by looking at some of the recent disruptions in supply chain due to COVID-19. We will also look at the role of technology in all of this, and finally uh, talk about how best to close the funding gap. The disruption has been, of course, very difficult, but it also provides us with a tremendous opportunity to realize just how important supply chains are. Because if we don't address sustainability in supply chains, we're not going to be able to realize the, the targets, ambitious targets that we've set for ourselves. It's not only just about the 1.5 degree target, it's you know, which companies, which sectors and in sort of which countries. And there's a huge amount of work to be done on what, what's the sort of optimal way to achieve that. European standard I think when it comes to sustainability and sustainable finance is always going to be seen as a sort of gold standard. But Southeast Asia is actually moving at an exceptionally accelerated pace, keeping pace with Europe, but also to ensure business continuity. As leading companies in the space, it's our responsibility to also take the smaller players along in our journey. The engagement and the collaboration is the key to getting a better sort of buy-in from everyone and to make this whole process easier. The real key for businesses is going to be interoperability and interchangeability. You've got to go right down to your furthest supplier in your supply chain. They really want to be having one set of rules to play along by, and they should be as simple as possible. Having a framework doesn't matter if you don't use it. Once you agree on a framework, you have to get that information into the hands of millions of small businesses and then have some consequence to them for using that framework. There are now new business models arising that allow companies to actually adopt sustainable practices both in their operations as in their supply chain. So that's an important element as well. It's not because there are no incentives that you cannot start acting today. If you call yourself green, you need to be having a good impact environmentally, but at the same time aligned with minimum social safeguards. So it's not enough to be one thing. You have to have the whole package together. The scope three emissions mostly in the supply chain. So if you want to get the ESG goals correct, you need to make sure that your supply chain is ESG compliant and they are sustainable. Where does it originate from? Where's the source coming from? Packing this again into the product, the marketing and the sourcing. And that's the opportunity we have, merging the physical supply chain with the financial supply chain with a lot more visibility because everybody now talks about supply chain.